Hi friends, this is Ram here, and it's first Java FX 8 tutorial where I'm going to introduce Java FX 8, its features, and how to create a Java FX application in NetBe. So let's start with this. First of all, what is Java FX? Java FX is a collection of Java packages that let you add fancy graphical user interface to your java application with java fx you can create a traditional window style user interfaces that includes familiar familiar controls such as labels buttons text boxes check boxes drop down list and so on java fx is a similar to swing so if you have ever used swing to create user interface it's a good head start to learn java fx Next, Java FX features. In Java FX, you can add the best visual effects and animations like shadows, reflections, blur effects, etc. Then charts like bar charts, pie charts. Then 3D objects like cube, cylinder, spheres, etc. Then touch interfaces. You can add touch interfaces for smartphones, tablets and computers. Then property binding. In Java FX you can create a properties which are special data types that can be bound to user interface controls. For example, you can create a property that represent the price of an item being purchased and then bind a label to it. Then whenever the value of the price changes the value displayed by the label is updated automatically you can you can add a css effect to you can use a css to control hundreds of formatting properties for example you can easily change text properties such as font size color and weight and you can add a background image gradient fields borders and special effects such as shadows blur and light sources then software requirement for java fx are your system must have installed latest jdk version on it and you can go for any tools like netbeans eclipse or notepad plus plus but i will prefer a netbean so let's start with the first java fx application in netbean so to create a JavaFX application, click on File, New Project, and click on JavaFX, JavaFX application, then Next. Here you can give any name to your application. I will give you JavaFX application 1. This will be your project location where your project will be saved or you can change the location where you want to save the program or project I will go with the default location this will create the, a folder with your project name then create a, click on create application class it will generate a application class for you then finish So this is your application class generated by the NetBeans. These are some imports for the class. This application import is to launch the your application. So in Java FX there will be always a main method to launch your application then the control button here they have add a children element button to print a hello world on a console panel so to do that action these two imports are added action event and event handler then a stack pane 
step pen it uh, it is a node to display your scene or frame and this scene this the scene is of 300 or by 250 or it is uh, like a frame of 300 by 250 so this is the import used for the scene then the stage in javafx application this complete panel panel is referred as a stage whereas the all the content in this are the scene and here this children element play a character role on this scene to print a hello world so let run this application so here is your application of hello world so this will be your stage so by clicking on say hello world button it will generate a hello world on console panel so this this frame will be set on here primary stage dot set title hello world and the the scene will be a 300 by 250 so this is the first tutorial in the next tutorial i will show you how to create line plot curve with one interesting example thanks for watching this video and bye for now